want to go from this to this stay tuned first I want to thank Bob Darlington for sending out one of his kits which allows you to have stereo sound out of your Apple II GS so first a little bit of background uh, when it comes to sound unlike the previous Apple II's the Apple II GS comes with an Ensonic 5503 chip uh, which has stereo capability uh, this chip can be used by games written specifically for the Apple II GS uh, so the stereo capability is there, but for some reason, Apple decided to neuter this feature on the rear output jack. Uh, that is until cards like Bob's became available. Okay, let's look at what's inside. So first we have the cable that attaches to the uh, J25 header on the motherboard. Uh, this header has the audio output from the Ensonic chip. Uh, the other end is already connected to the uh, light sound card. Uh, the light sound card then decodes the info from the Ensonic and separates it into right and left channels. Uh, the card then sends the uh, signals out through the 3.5mm uh, stereo jacks. A slick feature of this kit is that it comes with uh, cover plates that fit perfectly in one of the rear slots of the 2GS. Uh, they're really nice uh, with uh, threaded inserts. Alright, let's perform the install. And we'll start by removing the top cover. So what we're going to do is push in these two tabs, uh, pull up, tilt forward, make sure you're past the tabs, and up. Next, let's install the card. Uh, any slot can be used since the slot is just used for power. Uh, and uh, keep in mind the card must be installed with the audio jack and 7-pin connector pointing to the front of the GS. Um, I'm going to be using slot 5. And here's a view of the card fully installed and seated. And for reference, uh, here's the uh, location of the uh, J25 port. And the plug from the card is keyed uh, with tabs on both sides, so it only goes in in one direction. And just make sure that it's firmly seated. And now we're going to remove the uh, back panel plate. Uh, be very careful. Uh, these have become pretty brittle over time, so what we're going to do is twist, remove, and the back panel will pop right off. Now remove the nut from the audio cable. Insert the nut into the new cover plate and screw in the audio cable. Next, secure the cover to the plate. Uh, you want this to be uh, snug. You don't want to crank it down too much. Nice, really slick solution. And now we're gonna plug in the other end of the audio cable into the light sound card. And now reinstall the top cover. Okay, let's uh, hook everything up. And in keeping with the theme, I'm gonna plug the uh, new light sound card into some 90s uh, Boston acoustic speakers. All right, let's set it up. All right, the system has been set up with my old uh, 1990s Boston acoustic powered speakers. Um, I will turn down the volume on the internal speakers so they don't interfere with the uh, external ones. So uh, let's go into the control panel. Just uh, control, open Apple, escape. Control panel, let's go up to sound. And we're gonna lower it. And then hit enter to save and Quit and quit once again. All right, let's try out my favorite game, uh, Arkanoid. 
and this game will take a little while to load so I'll uh, fast forward through the process. All right. <laughs> This sounds so much better uh, in stereo and no drivers are necessary. Uh, unfortunately, the mic isn't going to do the sound uh, justice since it's in mo mono. <laughs> uh, let's try some other games. I'm going to try out uh, Dexter. Same deal. I'll fast forward it uh, while it loads. <laughs> this sounds fantastic. <laughs> all right, uh, I've been playing a number of games and uh, they've all run flawlessly. This sounds fantastic. Uh, we got Xenocide uh, running right now or playing right now. All right, I'll continue playing. I've been playing several games over the past week and have been extremely happy with the uh, light sound card. Uh, it sounds fantastic through the speakers. Um, easy physical install, no configuration, it just works. Um, as mentioned in the documentation, I do have a slight uh, pop when I flick the power switch on on my uh, reactive micro power supply. Uh, no problem. Uh, prior to shutting down the system, I turn down the volume on the external speakers. And uh, when I power it back up, I turn on the volume once the uh, OS has fully started. And I'd like to thank Bob Darlington for uh, sending out this card. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, his YouTube page as well as a link to where you can find this card in the description below. Uh, if you like this video, please click like and consider becoming a subscriber. Thank you.